Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem from IT Jam 2022. This problem is from mechanics and mainly it is from uh, moment of inertia. So problem is very interesting. So the mass density of the sum square sheet is given as sigma naught one minus x upon a. And this square is given as a picture just like as a picture that one edge is at the y axis and it is symmetric about x axis from minus a by two to plus a by two. And what we have to do, we have to just calculate the moment of inertia about i, y, y. So we have to calculate moment of inertia i, y, y. And uh, the best part is that the whole, the you have to write the moment of inertia in term of mass where m is the mass of this particular lamina. So it's a, so if we want to calculate moment of inertia about I, Y, Y, then obviously we have to just go for the perpendicular distance from I, from Y, Y is nothing but X. We can take any, this particular distance and we can take any distance, this DX, and dy as some mass dm, this is your x. So the perpendicular distance from y is x square into dm. dm is the mass of this rectangular element we can take. The whole idea is that we have to write this mass dm into variable x and y. So obviously the mass is confined into two dimensional plane. So we know that dm upon da is given as sigma x. So from here, we can easily calculate the value of dm is equal to sigma x dx into dy because area element in the uh, sheet is dx into dy. Now this is uh, uh, basically two integration is there. One is from x and another is for y. So we have sigma x x square dx into dy, where x will go to basically 0 to a and y will go to minus a by 2 to a by 2. The best part is that this sigma is a function of x. This is the thing. So what we can do, we can easily separate x and y. So we have i y y as x square sigma x dx between 0 to a and this will be dy between minus a by 2 to plus a by 2. Now we can put the value of sigma. So when we will put the value of sigma, then i yy is equal to, we can take sigma naught outside of this particular integration because it is constant. And we can have integration x square dx, one is there, so x square dx, 0 to a. And another integration is x into x square, so x cube upon a dx. This will be also from 0 to a. And this d, if we are going to integrate dy, then this value is can be multiplied with a. So when we are going to calculate this thing, then this value is i y y is equal to a sigma naught. And this is basically a cube by three minus a four by four. So one a will cancel. So we have if a cube by three actually, if a cube by four here actually, x cube integration is a four, a and A will cancel, that is the thing. Now, this I Y Y is given by A, so this is sigma naught A4 by 12. We can easily calculate this thing. Now, this is not over because the four option is given in term of mass. So what we have to do, we have to replace this sigma naught as a function of mass capital M. So what will be mass? The mass is nothing. The mass of this lamina is nothing but sigma x dx into dy. 
so this is the thing and now we can easily calculate the mass of this lamina is sigma naught we will just go for again x and y separately so we have one minus x upon a dx into dy this will go to zero to a and this will be minus a by two two plus a by two so from here we can easily calculate this particular thing so mass of this lamina is given by sigma naught a square by two you can easily do this integration so this is sigma naught a square by two so what is sigma naught so sigma naught is 2m upon a square now what we have to do we have to take this value we have to put the value of sigma naught so when we will put the value of sigma naught then i y y is equal to basically 2m and by a square into 12 and here is a to the power 4 so i think i y y is m a square by 6 so this is your answer so the answer is basically given by i y y is equal to m a square by 6 so this is very nice problem it takes little bit more time and yes it's a very conceptual one because in this problem you have to also first learn what is actual definition of of moment of inertia and then you have to also see if the mass is varied is va is varied with position then how you can implement all this concept of uh, mass density and then finally you have to replace all this mass density in term of capital m or mass of the lamina so yes it is a very nice problem and but it's a quite simple the numbers are quite genuine such that we can do this integration very nicely thank you